seconds after our Pontiac game changing performance. The game had been tied at two since Texas scored a run in the fifth inning. Frustration all night for Arizona State. They had left 11 men on base coming to the ninth. Jason Kipnis started with an infield hit again. Texas with a chance to make it in the field. But they could not. That's been a theme of the night. And then Zach Wilson, who had appeared in only three games since May 10th prior to tonight. And that's his first hit since May 10th. When he went one for four against the Winthrop Eagles, the freshman out of Long Beach, with a huge hit for ASU. It may well extend their at least for one more day. Texas with the rally caps on now. They can't score here against Mitchell Lampson in the bottom of the ninth. These two teams will play a winner take all game in this bracket tomorrow night at 7 Eastern time. And the winner of that one would go on to the College World Series best of three finals against LSU starting Monday. Mitchell Lampson been terrific out of the bullpen. He'll face Brandon Loy, Cameron Rupp, and Preston Clark. Six, seven, and eight hitters due up for Texas. Lampson's pitched two perfect innings of relief. He struck out four of the last five hitters. He's now in line for a win. Already one and one in this College World Series. Factored in the decision in both of his previous appearances. This part of the lineup did the damage Tuesday night against Leak in the bullpen. That pitch looked pretty good. Not the time to get squeezed if you're Lampson. No, and you know, you saw that graphic there for 11 tonight. A big difference in the scoring from the first game to the last game. And it, you know, when you, your bottom of your order gets on base, you, you're going to score a lot of runs because that's going to turn that lineup over. You're going to get your big boys up there to knock in some runs. Roy's been one of their best hitters. Go for two. He had a 700 on base percentage in their first two games. One of only three players on their team who started the night hitting above 300 among the regulars. Lampson got him. They're late, even though it's in the low and mid 80s. And that five strikeouts against the last six hitters. Well, he just has great deception. Lampson just, you know, his fingers come up. You can see it on those slow replays. His fingers, he turns that ball over. And then when he comes in with a fastball, it really jumps on the hitter. Anytime you get used and you try and sit on changeup and a guy blows a fastball by you, it's, it's much harder to try and do that than it is to look fastball and try and react on a on an off-speed pitch. So here's Rupp who homered against Lampson Tuesday night. He hit the home run to right, leading off the seventh against Lampson. They gave Texas their first lead of that ball game, seven to six, and the lead stood up. Lampson wound up tagged with the loss in that outing. We're up tonight, one for three, singled in the second. Tried to check his and could not. Well, right now it's going to be very difficult to try and keep your emotions in check for Cameron Rupp of not trying to hit a home run. You know, he hit two home runs in the last game when they faced Arizona State, and it, it will creep into your mind. It's difficult when a guy has a changeup like this. Patiently watch that one all the way. Down and in, three balls and a strike. Preston Clark is on deck. And that is ripped to deep center. Way back. Kipnis goes to the wall. It is gone.
Well, Cameron Rupp works himself in that three-run count. Finally gets that fastball up in the zone. And he has definitely enough power after the two home runs he hit the other night. Takes this one right over the center field batting eye. And there hasn't been one of those over that batting eye all, all series. Third home run of the College World Series for Cameron Rupp. All three of them against Arizona State. The one off league the other night that started the comeback. Now Clark swinging to win the game. Big hack and a miss. And it's his second home run of this College World Series off Lampson. Hit the go ahead home run off him Tuesday night. Now the game tire tonight. And Clark with a chance to win it. He had a walk off grand slam to win the regional against Army when they rally with eight runs in the ninth. Biggest hit of his career. And he was swinging for another long ball and he popped it straight up. Two outs. Now Arizona State clinging to life hoping for one more out to force extra innings. Well anytime you get the three one you, you're pretty much counting on a fastball coming and Cameron Rupp doesn't try and do too much. He just puts a nice swing takes this thing to center field. He's so strong. You know they hit a ball that far and he catches it back in his swing. He's hit a couple balls to right field is for home runs too. Connor Rowe drives one to left. Back at the wall. It is gone. And Texas wins. The sophomore from Georgetown, Texas. When we spoke with Augie Garrido the other day prior to the start of this event, he said, don't be fooled by that body. There's a lot of juice in that 170 pounds. And he juiced one over the fence and left. Arizona State in disbelief. They were two outs away from extending this at least until tomorrow. But the Longhorns on home runs in the ninth by Rupp and Rowe. Sweep bracket two in undefeated fashion. And another deep breath from Augie Garrido. He's seen everything, but he continues to be amazed night after night by what he sees on the baseball field. And Pat Murphy consoling Lampson, who was great all year long and tonight until the two long balls did him and the Sun Devils in. And you're looking at a team that's known for playing the small ball. And down one run in the ninth, you got Cam Cameron Rupp hits one to dead center. And then you got Connor Rowe that hits one to left to win it. And then the mayhem starts. Calhoun did everything he could, but that was a few rows back for Connor Rowe. And Augie Garrido, starting Monday, will have a chance to win his sixth national championship in Texas will be playing to win its seventh as a school. And the season ends for Arizona State. Surprisingly good season. So many new players they didn't expect to be here by their own admission. But a shocking ending when it looked like at the very least they were going to win in dramatic fashion to get to tomorrow. Cameron Rupp the hero and Connor Rowe finish the job. And you can see the tears in the eyes of the freshman Lampson. 4-3 the final. We'll be back to wrap it up here from the winners right after this. Baby. 